We've got to start off with Prime Minister's questions because um, <laughs> Ian Blackford yesterday, uh, Wednesday. I was on bail too. I mean, I didn't even know he had a dog, but of course, even his dog doesn't like him, does he? I know, it's crazy. <laughs> yes, well, well, Mr. Squeaker. <laughs> I mean, that dog was. The, was it, look at it is. That dog is famous. It was in the omen. When Gregory Peck was scrambling through that grave, that was the, there was a whole pack of them. I was very lucky; my grandparents handed them down. But yeah, I mean, he did. He looked quite nervous. I was wondering if the dog was actually at the window, you know, trying to get in from the outside, <laughs> and it was some rabid dog. I know, it you was know, Ganga, or maybe easy. a unionist dog, even to try and stop uh, independence. Uh, possibly sent up by by Boris, which yeah. I thought his response was great. I I, I, I thought the dog may, made more sense. <laughs> And uh, the right honourable gentleman. He absolutely did. He wouldn't have been Carrie, uh, Carrie's dog, though, because that dog's quite small. It's like right. a very, it's like a little terrier. It's a kitten thing. Like, I've got a kitten, so I'm very wary of that because I'm wearing a boot. I, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. What did the kitten trip you up? <laughs> no, but you've got to watch for there's one roaming about yeah. in the dead of night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I used to have a cat. He used to jump on, on me in the middle of the night. In fact, my sister right. has, has always had a cat. And I came down one, one day from her uh, upstairs bedroom where I was staying, and it had thrown up in my shoe. And which I thought was about the worst thing you could ever find in your shoe. Oh, cat sick. Oh, well, f this is true. I, I know that I spoke a few weeks ago about this because it was, you know, the cat. We had to get our eldest. Of the, we've got two. And my niece is over and she's brought her cat over. Right. And she says, Wah! it's a madhouse. I was right. glad to leave. But yeah. anyway, um, the eldest cat had to have the thing that got dressed because mm. it was spraying everywhere. Right. But I actually, when I went to get the case packed, the overnight right. case, I went and opened it four o'clock this morning, opened the case up, pff, smell a pish. Oh. So I've had to use my backpack. So I had to leave the case. I thought, why would I cat? I've, I mean, it's just, you're not going to take me to London to have that. Right. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And also, it's just to prove they don't care whether you come back or not. <laughs> no, exactly. That's, that's what, what they're cats thinking. Are like. So you travelled to today. I travelled. You travelled. Through time and space, <laughs> Mike. It was amazing. We took off. And everybody was very civil. Really? And yeah. were there lots of masks being worn in the airport? Yes, there was. Uh, and it was fairly swift, although not a full flight, I have mm. to say. I mean, I don't know if that's intentional, the right. limit and the amount of seats sold. I but, don't know. Um, it's I mean, the tube's pretty busy now. I came into the tube this yeah, morning was, in preparation for our afternoon's um, libations uh, so that I could go home on public transport, as I always do, with great responsibility. But um, there's loads of people on the tube. Yeah, and they're all measuring. You can see it in their face. They're all doing that. Is that two metres? I don't know. Is that yeah. two metres? Oh, it's a metre and a half, I think. Yeah. I know. Go. But you know, Jeremy Vine, he's still going to work on his bike. Well, that's where you are. And then you're in the fast lane. There's nobody there in the slipstream of vehicular traffic. That's their new single, And Out My Way. <laughs> a nice link to a piece of music. What about Joe Biden's summit yesterday? Did you watch that? Well, I watched a little, yeah. I saw some highlights of it. We're going to Glasgow. I don't think he knows where it is. It's in Glasgow. I don't think he does know. He oh. thinks he's going to new key as well. Or well, it's two different. Weather and climate are two different things. Weather is, you know, things like temperature. And yeah. climate is what your fitness instructor shouts at the bottom of a rope. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Glasgow. Yeah, you're going to fly in to do a summit in a place where uh, it's quite cold and you're going to mm. warm, uh, tell everybody about the global warming problem. And also you're going to be flying in and telling everybody not to fly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We know weather. Come to Scotland. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it was different in the old days, wasn't it, when Donald Trump used to visit? Well, that's it. I used to come over and, you know, I was like a blur. I came in on the high altitude and the stratosphere, drop down, parachute and get a couple of holes in and then go back, you know. And now in Florida, the weather, even the weather here today, happy St. George's Day. Thank you very it much. It's beautiful. You know, and back home, I'm having strawberries and cream. Mm, you They're the two best strippers working in Florida <laughs> right now. You don't see many St. George's flags in Glasgow, do you? No, you don't, and you should. I mean, he's a patron saint. It's a, you know, it's a happy thing. It's, yeah. Uh, you know, and I'm looking forward to your, you're, you're the patron saint today as we're going I to am. the... The Boozer. We are going to the Boozer for some uh, libation later. What about um, the election up in Scotland, of course? Mm. You've got Alex Salmon still in That's uh, right. with a chance. Yes. I understand you were doing some stuff with him. Well, I, I went on. I brought uh, my friend Donald over. And he's, the thing is, with Alex, he's actually got some really quite fasc fascinating and funny stories, yeah. anecdotally. Yes. Uh, so I did a 20-minute routine on Zoom <laughs> from my house. Because this company, Alex Rouse, who make wigs, left me. I've said, have the wig for a year. Yes. Should anything happen. Oh, so happen. you've got a new wig. So I got this Donald Trump wig, yeah. which is like... Five grand's worth. Is this it? Beautiful wig. Right. So I, I think that's I, more than his is worth. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alec is certainly one. Well, I think. I think could they help me out there? But uh, yeah, and then on the Sunday night, uh, Gigi Galloway uh. invited me on to talk about things. Is it the mother of all talk shows? He's the got, mother. <laughs> that's right. The mother of all talk shows. <laughs> and on the program, he just shouts louder yes. and louder. He does. And, and but you made a big impression. I saw his tweet. <laughs> 
I see what he did there. Well, he, he kind of he, he sort of gave me a, a rod from on back because when you introduce somebody who's very funny, you kind of got to live up to that. And it yeah. was, I don't know if I really did make him laugh or he was just doing that. <laughs> right, next guest. <laughs> Let's talk about real matters. Yes, but he is an amazing character, isn't he? Oh, aye, he's great for mimicry. That's what I said to him. I said, there's just not enough people like you in no. politics. And then went on to Nigel. But no, he's chucked it. <laughs> I, was like, I know, but the, but the that's the is, trouble. I mean, guys like yourself, I mean, if Trump's sort of off the world stage at the moment, yeah. Nigel Farage has also kind of taken a step back from the political side of things. And yeah. he's, he's now doing other projects and all of that. But you still want to do the voices, don't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, because... They, I mean, they, I, I, I try to invite Nigel down the pub. I'm not sure if he's around. Well, <laughs> that'd be absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know my views on that. <laughs> and I mean, really, I mean, the pubs will soon be open at 10.30. I mean, yeah. an extra three hours in the pub. <laughs> as almost as long as the European New Super League lasted, you know. I mean, it's amazing. It's happy days. It's 18 degrees. The sun is shining. Mike Graham's on the air. What more do you want? What more do you want? Do you do any football? Uh, football? You don't do Gary Neville or anything like that? Because he oh, was, uh, well, he you know, was the man. brilliant. Well, he was brilliant. But except he seems to have forgotten the fact that he's been paid an awful lot of money by the Glazers uh, since they came in to be the runners and owners of Manchester United, uh, who he now wants to kick out because he's not uh, there anymore I see but see you got me there because I don't really follow the ins and outs of the game specifically do you not even yeah. do Neil Lennon Neil Lennon well we I used to do Neil Lennon on Off the Ball as we just did him like that we always had the Nolan <laughs> sisters I'm in the mood for dancing playing hi there and it was just I, and he would come up to you and say I don't sound like that I'd no. Say, no you don't sound it's like that it's quite a medicine Neil oh, Lennon yeah. I mean I've met Neil in your, brother's, right. in and, your brother's club and my brother's friends were my he's, good, he's yeah. actually a good laugh I mean, he's a good laugh but mm. I mean he's got that Belfast thing where you kind mm. of go just be careful. Just, you know, yeah. just be very careful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say to that because of the caricature I've done of him. Just you be careful. <laughs> it's like a sort of Irish Alan Carr. Uh, yes. Just you be careful. Funny enough, Alan Carr was in this morning. Oh, I think you he's hilarious. Done that. You know, Chris Evans asked me on his show yesterday, oh, right? Really? But without any preparation, he suddenly I was standing talking to him, right, having a cup of coffee. Uh -huh. We were shooting the breeze, and it was about ten to ten. So I got ten minutes before my show starts. He oh. says, "You come on, come on to the show now." Oh, magic! So I went, it was great. I mean, it was very good. But I mean, you know, I had no idea what he was going to ask me about. Well, that, today doesn't, no, but that doesn't phase you at all. It doesn't, You could no. talk about anything. In fact, well, I, I heard you on air saying you, you laid down the gauntlet with you. You could talk about anything and, and win. Debate. Well, I mean, we do, we're do. we going to do that in the next hour. I'm going to have to make a case for something that I don't necessarily believe in. But that's okay. it's good practice. <laughs> it's good practice. It's not Boris Johnson. He writes two versions of everything. Yes. Why wouldn't you? Well, because you, you can. Yeah. There's always a side A and a side B. Yes. Bring um, back vinyl. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's not bringing back Dominic Cummings. I think Dominic Cummings, by the way, has yes. done this whole thing um, deliberately. He's making everybody think that he's got some control over this leaking because yes. he's bored. Because what's he doing? I mean, he yes. used to be at the heart of government. Now he's not doing anything else. He's not even invited up to Barnard Castle. I mean, I wonder. I don't think they're even doorstepping him anymore. He's that boring. <sighs> Do you remember they used to all be outside his house yes. all the time? Yes. And he would come out with his kids' uh, bikes. That's right. In the back of the car. Yes. And tell them all to keep back. Yes. Keep it's back. A very short pathway. Very short. I mean, where does he park his bike? Well... I think we all know the answer to that one. <laughs> it's an old Billy Connolly joke. Well, there you go. <laughs> Out in the shed there. Maybe he wants that. Maybe he wants to be the next Billy Connolly. Now, I know that you're going to visit another past person in this building. And yes. this will only be very internally kind of funny. But why don't yes. you do him as well? Because uh, <laughs> he's the guy He's the guy that does all of our um, uh, imaging. And, and you know, he's probably listening now. So I'm working with Peter. <laughs> Peter G. Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to talk. Peter, you've been here for probably as long as anyone. At, I'm uh, as old group. as the concrete you walk on. You have. Almost as long as Alan Brazil's been here, I think. <laughs> you don't yes, do Brazil. Legend. No, sadly, I've got to practice, but I've yeah. known Peter a long time. Yes, a he's good a fine. Man. He's a very good man. Well, listen, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the end of uh, the show. Thank you for uh, having I'm, me on, mate. Uh, not at all. It's great to see you. It's fantastic to have somebody, you know, in the studio instead of on bleeding Zoom. Yeah. Which is how we do everything else. More to this, I think. Yes, I think we'll do it more often. Lewis McLeod. Thank um, you. He will be uh, with us in spirit all the way through the rest of the show. Um, That's an amazing concept in itself. <laughs> if you look at the universe, do we have a spirit? 